External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar, who's on a four day official trip to the United Kingdom, has celebrated Diwali by offering prayers at the BAPS Sri Swami Narayan Mandir in London. The EAM has addressed the diaspora afterwards and stated that India is the fastest growing large economy today. He has stated, and I quote, that India is today the fastest growing large economy. Um, this is uh, there is a leadership, there is a vision, there is good governance. Uh, Dr. Jay Shankar and his wife also met the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and his wife Akshita Murthy and conveyed the Wali wishes of uh, Prime Minister Modi and has uh, gifted him a Lord Ganesh statue as well as a cricket bat signed by Virat Kohli. Uh, let's listen in to what Dr. Jay Shankar has said. A very difficult period at the entire world has on COVID. But India is today the fastest growing large economy and there is a very good reason. It is growing because today there is leadership, there is vision, there is good government. Then, of course, we've heard uh, Dr. Jay Shankar uh, address uh, the diaspora in London. Uh, but joining us on the broadcast is my colleague Akshit Gupta for more details. Akshit, over to you. Well, uh, external things, uh, Minister Jay Shankar is on an official visit to, to the United Kingdom from uh, November 11th to November 15th. And yesterday he met uh, with the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and his wife Akshata Murthy. He was also accompanied by his wife uh, Choko Jay Shankar at uh, 10 Downing Street. Uh, to convey Diwali wishes from uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and he also presented Sunak uh, with a statue of Lord Ganesha and a cricket <laughs> bat autographed by uh, cricketer Virat Kohli. Well, uh, Jay Shankar also said that uh, uh, he conveyed uh, the wishes of uh, PM Narendra Modi and he said that India and UK are actively engaged in reframing the relationship for contemporary uh, times. He also uh, thanked and expressed his gratitude uh, to uh, Rishi Sunak for their reception and hospitality on the occasion of Diwali. Uh, well, uh, he will also be uh, meeting his UK counterpart, uh, James Cleverly, and other dignitaries. Uh, and uh, if I just uh, if I just tell you uh, that uh, his visit also includes uh, uh, meetings uh, with uh, other uh, officials on the, also uh, in the United uh, Kingdom uh, and, uh, and the, 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 the India and UK uh, also uh, have signed a comprehensive strategic partnership which was launched in 2021 along with the India UK roadmap uh, 2030. Well, uh, this roadmap, uh, as said by the ministry, also is a commitment to a partnership uh, that delivers for both. Uh, the countries and um, uh, it's uh, also important to see as to how this visit will give a new impetus uh, to the friendly ties uh, between uh, between the between the two countries uh, and India and UK have also been negotiating a free trade agreement since uh, January last year uh, with a target to significantly enhance the estimated uh, GBP uh, by 36 billion uh, bilateral trading partnership so of course it will be important to see as to how the talks for that uh, proceed further. All right, Akshat, with that, I would like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast, presenting all those details to our viewers. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.